don't think I'll wait until Tuesday to talk about college football again. Um, so we already have some cancellations. And due to these cancellations, somebody has benefited. A ranked team has benefited from cancellation. The Minnesota has canceled football. You know, they paused their team activities due to Corona Chan messing up their program. And who does this benefit? The team they were supposed to play, the Northwestern Wildcats. And how does this benefit Northwestern? They are going to the Big Ten Championship more than likely, 90% likely that they're going. It's a done deal now. It is a done deal. And their playoff hopes were dashed, of course, you know, last week against the Michigan State Spartans, who just so happened to be playing the Ohio State Buckeyes this week. Maybe. Now, if Ohio State does not get this game in, they do not play Michigan State this week. They are not going to the Big Ten Championship. Somebody else will have to go. And it may be Indiana, who will be without Michael Penix Jr. for the rest of the season with his torn ACL. So there's that. Uh, Big Ted is in a conundrum right now. So th th there's going to be some things that need to get figured out. And they don't... And, a good timing too, because the only, you know, the only other ranked versus ranked matchup of the day, aside from one that we'll talk about in a moment, is Indiana Wisconsin. Two teams who are out of the playoff race. Two teams who have had games canceled. Two teams who have had their seats derailed by injuries. Not a good look. Not a good sign for the Big Ten. And as far as the Pac-12 goes, you know, we have a Sunday game again. You know, it'll be USC, Washington State, Arizona State is potentially ready to go. And I use that term very loosely, potentially ready to go. I'm not, I don't even care who Arizona State's playing. You know, it does not matter. Pac-12 is out of the playoff race altogether, pretty much. I mean, Oregon's taking on Cal, you know. There's that, you know. And uh, I forget who Washington's supposed to play. I'm not sure if they're ranked I'm not sure if they're going to be ranked in the top 25 right now. But um, keep an eye on Washington. They may be ranked in the next top 25 poll by the College Football Playoff Committee. And there you go. Pac-12, Big Ten in trouble. Big trouble. So in the meantime... Will Marshall finally get to play because they haven't played it a little bit and they get to, they have to play Rice. So that could be interesting to see. You know, uh, Marshall's still ranked 21 right now. Of course, tomorrow I'll have the CFP rankings and stuff I like that out. You know, or actually, it'll, it'll probably be Wednesday actually because of the Champions Classic. Uh, but, you know, Marshall's playing Rice, still undefeated Marshall. Wonder how they're going to do it. Texas A&M trying to keep their momentum alive against Auburn. That's a game that's at eleven. You know, it's rather unfortunate um, that that game's at eleven. You know, Oklahoma State is taking on TCU. Um, they're still trying to get to the Big Twelve Championship. They need some help though. They need a lot of help, and they need to beat TCU and they need to beat Baylor in the next game. To get to the Big 12 Championship. Texas is not out of it either. They need some things to happen. And to beat Kansas State. Um, Notre Dame. It looks like it's going to be very easy for them. They have to play Syracuse. And Syracuse is not a good team this year. Just absolutely dreadful look for them. You know, full of the orange. And Notre Dame should wipe the floor with Syracuse. And that game's at 130. Tulsa's still in the top 25. For right now, they they need a game played, and they are playing the flex bone attack of Navy, and that game should be pretty interesting to see. But I'm not going to watch that game, unfortunately. Um, there's also West Virginia taking on Iowa State. You know, West Virginia's defense is one of the best in the Big 12. But can or is West Virginia ready to go? Are they ready to go because their game was canceled last week as well? 
And speaking of the team whose game against West Virginia got canceled last week, Oklahoma trying to get to the Big 12 championship. They need they need to keep winning to get to the Big 12 championship. Iowa State has pretty much clinched their ticket. They are in the Big 12 championship pretty much unless something crazy happens. But Oklahoma needs to continue their momentum against Baylor late. Uh, as far as the SEC goes, again, already talked about Texas A&M, Florida, Tennessee. Um, I'm not sure why CVS decides to show two bloodbaths because Florida is very good. Kyle Trask has thrown touchdowns up the ass this year. And Tennessee is just not good. And Mac Jones goes up to Death Valley to take on LSU. And, you know, Alabama, Nick Saban, you know, last week, unfortunately, he was impacted by Corona Chan, and he couldn't go to play, you know, he couldn't go to coach for the Iron Bowl, but he is coming back this week more than likely, it depends, and um, I'm projecting that Alabama is going to put up 60 points on LSU, LSU is not good, not a good team at all, Vanderbilt's taking on Georgia, how... How, how in the world would Georgia do? Um, you know, of course, that storyline with Sarah Fuller is still there for Vanderbilt. And, of course, Vanderbilt fired Derek Mason also this week. So there's that. You know, there's that. Anyway, come on. That was to be expected. Vanderbilt's not a good team. They're winless, I think, on the season anyway. I was taking on Illinois. Um, Illinois... They were supposed to play Ohio State last week, but, you know, postponements and stuff like that. And Iowa's technically out of the Big Ten championship picture now, thanks to Minnesota. Great job, Minnesota. You should have you should have contained Corona Chan a little bit better than that, but you didn't. It's okay. It's okay. We all can't contain it. You know. um, as far as other games of the ACC goes, um... Clemson's taking on Virginia Tech, and um, Miami's taking on Duke. Now, Duke has to play Miami now because of Florida State canceling again. And, and Florida State might just not even play for the rest of the season. Just go ahead and call it quits now. For, you know, Florida State, just go ahead and call it quits now. Miami, you know, Duke's all right. They're nothing special, but, you know, Nothing special about the the Blue Devils in football. Maybe pay attention to basketball, Duke's fan. You know, Duke fans. But, 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 but. The biggest matchup of the week arguably gets stuck at 1 p.m. It'll be after a college basketball game on ESPNU. That is Liberty taking on Coastal Carolina. Biggest matchup of the week. I'm expecting Liberty to be ranked in the top 25. This week, hopefully, along with Louisiana as well, hoping that they'll be ranked in the top 25. And I, I forget Louisiana's playing somebody this week. I don't know who they're playing, but they're playing somebody. I think they're playing Louisiana Monroe. No, wait, they already beat Louisiana Monroe. My bad. They're, pl- they're probably playing somebody else. I don't know who, but Louisiana is. I think they're playing this week. But the biggest game of the week, no doubt in my mind, is Coastal Carolina taking on Liberty. And, you know. Coastal's got to do something. They, I mean, last time I saw Liberty was a couple weeks ago against NC State, and you know, Liberty didn't look too good. And there's also rumors circling about that Liberty may not even go to a bowl game because of you know bowl tie-in and stuff like that, which shouldn't exist in 2020. To be completely honest, except for the big-time bowl games, but we're not going to talk about that right now. But yeah. Coastal Carolina Liberty, biggest game of the week. It's a very light slate once again for college football fans. And, of course, you know, Corona could cancel the game on the fly just like it did to Northwestern uh, Minnesota. But with that being said, everybody, I'll see you guys Wednesday to react to the college football playoff rankings. See you then. Y'all take care. Have a good day. And just watch college basketball, man.